It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyden, and this is a January 11th, 2012 edition of 5.45 Live. We still have uh, an incredible show, which includes my uh, exclusive interview with Bernie Sanders on the road uh, with Frederick Noyes at the New Hampshire primary, and BUHS TV has its last day around town. Uh, but as always, we try and do it all in 15 minutes, so make sure you stick with us. Justin in Brattleboro. Today is January 10th and a white day. Colby, today is our last broadcast ever for you and I. And, you know, I'm kind of wishing that we had worn, like, suits or something nicer than this. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, well. The show must go on. The show must go on for BUHS TV. That ends their uh, spring semester, or uh, uh, fall semester, I should say, which means that uh, they will be back February 7th on the air. Um, and uh, that will... Uh, give them a little time to prepare as they get a new class in there. Gary Blomgren, who runs that class, uh, we've been enjoying their shenanigans. Of course, that uh, happens uh, weekdays, excluding Wednesdays when they take a day off. They've got uh, all kinds of uh, great stuff. Um, uh, this Day in History, Sign Language Sign of the Day, and of course, Morning News Advisory, Bulletin, Sports Updates, Weather, and more. We beam in their weather broadcast as well. All right, moving on on 545 Live, I got a chance to corner uh, Senator Bernie Sanders in the hallway downstairs in this 230 Main Street Municipal Center when he stopped by for a chat with Barb Sundag. Here's that interview. All right, well, maybe we can start with the constitutional amendment and tell us what's going on with that. Well, the update is I think we have tapped the nerve. I think uh, throughout this country, people are disgusted uh, with a Citizens United decision that says that corporations are people and corporations can spend without disclosure uh, as much money as they want on political campaigns. People are tired of the role that big money plays uh, in electing folks who represent the wealthy and the powerful. And what we have seen is in the last couple of months, on our website, we have now over 170,000 uh, signatures of people, uh, 170,000 people on a petition who are supportive of our efforts. So uh, what we have to do now is get the word out throughout the country, which we are. Uh, I want to see towns uh, put the issue on their local ballots. I want to see state legislatures uh, deal with this issue. We have to develop a very strong grassroots movement to make it clear to the United States Congress that corporations are not people and we don't want big money interest buying elections. And if people want to support this uh, amendment, going to your website and signing the petition is the way to do it? Absolutely. It's sanders.senate.gov. We'd love to have uh, as many uh, signatures from Vermont as possible. Terrific. Uh, and what brings you to Brattleboro? Uh, we've been heading down to the southern part of the state to do a number of things. I'm heading over to the uh, VA's uh, community-based outreach clinic we are at White River Junction VA uh, facility before. I was in Bellows Falls at a senior center. And I wanted to talk to Bob Sontag about some of the issues that Brattleboro is dealing with. Welcome back to 545 Live. Senator Bernie Sanders yesterday uh, here in this downtown studio. Uh, we'll continue here with our uh, January 11th broadcast here on 545 Live uh, with a look uh, to the Manchester primary now uh, back on Monday's show, 1-9-11. Frederick Noyes beamed in via Skype from the New Hampshire primaries in Manchester where he and Steve West uh, were out. Steve doing a live and local broadcast around out there and Frederick filming his piece called Beer and Loathing. And uh, we've got a clip of that as well. Let's take a look. I go for the E, the hard eights, the hard sixes. How much fun is fun up here? It's really amazing. I appreciate it. Just a brief sample of uh, some of the things that are going on um, with uh, that program. Again, Frederick Noyes, Beer and Loathing. You can look for it uh, early next week on BCTV. You can uh, check local listings um, to see what uh, we've got coming up there. All right, uh, next we've got, uh, we're going to do what I think is, is a really great uh, little piece, and that's a traffic report. I'm very excited for uh, this, this part of the broadcast. Um, you can see, in, as part of our fancy new 545 Live set, um, I've got uh, behind me here the uh, traffic uh, report here from downtown Brattleboro. Now uh, you can see we uh, come down through Brattleboro. Let's see if I can get it up on the, uh, on the import us into the screen here um, so we can really take a look at, at what I'm talking about. 
So uh, as you can see, we're looking at all the way from the rotary uh, down through Main Street, um, High Street, and uh, as well. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, looks like uh, coming down Putney Road, if you're coming south down Putney Road, uh, it's uh, heavy volume, though it is moving, which is what the orange line is about. And if you're going north on Putney Road, you're in good shape. It's green, which means that traffic is moving. Now, uh, between High Street and Malfunction Junction, this is where it gets rocky on a daily basis. Um, and pretty much every time we check this here traffic report, this is what we uh, wind up finding out is that there's a big strip of red right in the middle here um, and so that means downtown uh, not not a good scene for any of you traffickers uh, try and avoid downtown high street and canal street also have some uh, heavy volume and uh, as you go west as well but at least it is moving we've got standstill traffic in downtown brattleboro right now uh, 91 goers you're good to go uh, highway interstate is clear all right, uh, that's a look at our uh, Brattleboro downtown traffic report powered by Inrix and Beat the Traffic. All right, we got just a few minutes to wrap up a, a brief show here today. So um, I just want to take a second to do uh, the calendar here, which has become a staple. We'll just do this ever so briefly here um, and take a look. Of course, if we're going to do the calendar, i got to get the dart throwing animation in here as well for 2012. All right, we'll take a quick look um, at what's going on around uh, the community and uh, take a look. There's a uh, community conversation coming up at the Gibson Aiken building. That's today, 6.30 p.m. in just uh, about 33 short minutes. Um, it's the first community conversation of the new year and starts with the topic, what is your winter seed catalog dream? Um, you can... Uh, Find out more at transitionbrattlebro.org. Um, this is in uh, the Gibson Aiken building, again, across the street, 207 Main Street. All right. Um, let's see. We'll hit uh, maybe, what have I got time for? One more event here before we uh, move on to our BCTV schedule. Quick glance, and we'll take a look at what's going on at Brooks Memorial Library. They have already started, though it's going until 7 p.m., a community-based uh, project in about Costa Rica. Um, and uh, the, their press release reads, Please join uh, guidebook author and ecotourism expert Beatrice Blake um, in the library's meeting room for a talk on her favorite community-based destinations in Costa Rica. All right, uh, that's our BCTV calendar. Let's see if I have got an animation for you that will segue us into the uh, quick glance here as well as we uh, move forward. Quick glance, my daily opportunity to shamelessly plug what's coming up here on BCTV and both our Comcast cable channels 8 and 10. Uh, to, to brief you on this, I'm going to do what I hope all of y'all out there do and go to brattlebrotv.org where our schedules are updated to the minute and we include live streaming and video on demand for all local programming. It's Wednesday, which means that we show Al Jazeera News, the uh, Middle East-based news program off of Free Speech TV that shows at 6 p.m. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, we uh, also have a first Wednesday lecture from Brooks Memorial Library showing at 8.30 p.m. Um, and over on our government and education sister channel, two clicks up the dial at channel 10, a 6.30 p.m. showing of this week's Brattleboro, or last week's Brattleboro Select Board meeting, uh, followed at 8.20 by the BUHS Board meeting. And at 10.20 p.m. we have the League of Women Voters uh, Transportation Panel. Uh, titled Stretching Your Transportation Dollars in Vermont. That's our quick glance again, brattlebrotv.org, the place to find uh, that schedule for uh, the whole week. It's updated to the minute on the website in case we do make last minute changes. You can check out both our public uh, channel, which has all sorts of varieties of fun, as well as our government and education sister channel, which includes uh, BUHS TV. When they come back February 7th, they'll be at 10.15 a.m. Um, the rebroadcast of this here, 545 Live, also shows then at 10 a.m. so there's really a good block of local programming there as well. All right uh, as you can hear I'm queuing up the uh, end credits here which means it's time for me to say adieu for uh, 545 Live and BCTV. I'm Roland Boyden saying good night everybody.